So the first major domestic trophy of the season is up for grabs, and when it comes to battling it out for silverware, Sir Alex Ferguson and Harry Redknapp paint a colourful past. The pair have met seven times before, but Harry has been upsetting United before Sir Alex had even arrived there. Back in 84, his third division Bournemouth side provided the shock of the FA Cup, knocking out the holders at the first attempt. By the time the two sides met again, Sir Alex was now at the helm, and Harry had taken his side up to Division 2. Another Houdini act was nearly repeated, but United scraped through in a replay, and ultimately kept Sir Alex in a job. In 2001, Harry was now with West Ham. He arrived at Old Trafford with a team who'd failed to win there in 15 years. The tie was decided by an undaunted Italian, and it was the Hammers who headed into Round 5. Two years on, and Harry was on his way to promoting Portsmouth to the top flight, Sir Alex on his way to an eighth Premier League title. The two met mid-season, and a humble lesson was handed out about life in the big league. A lesson not learned in 2005, as Harry now with Southampton was given a drubbing in the quarter-final, and still not learned two years later when back at Portsmouth, the result was closer, but the outcome the same. And then last season, they locked horns again. Sir Alex on course for a second career treble, Harry it turns out on course for his first career trophy. A late winner upset the form book once more. But the old master has wasted little time in exacting his revenge. Sir Alex has already knocked Harry Spurs team out of this year's other cup competition and would love to complete a domestic double against his old friend. And so to Sunday, Spurs start as defending champions, United start as favourites. Sir Alex says he'll stick with the players that got them to the final. Harry's likely to go with his strongest 11. But let's be honest, on paper there's only one favourite, but with Harry, there's always hope. Both can visualise their hands on the cup, but only one will prize it away in the end.